Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to match characters that occur more one or more times. Sometimes you need to match a character or a group of characters that appears one or more times in a row. That means it occurs at least once and may be repeated. You can use the plus character to check if that is the case. Remember, the character or pattern has to be, has to be present consecutively. That is, the character has to repeat one after the other. For example, A plus on a global, with a global flag would find one match in ABC and return A because plus it would also find a single character a single match in AABC and return AA. If we were instead checking the string ABAB, it would find two matches and return AA because the A characters are not in a row. There is a B between them. Finally, since there is no A in the string BCD, it wouldn't find a match. You want to find matches when the letter S occurs one more times in the difficult spelling word of Mississippi. Uh, write a regex and use the plus sign. And so here we're going to go um, S and then uh, plus. And let's see, console.log, cons S O L E dot log, the result. Um, so where now we've, we're getting a double S. Um, and I don't think that that's what we want. Your regex should use the plus sign to match one or more SS characters. Okay, so what's going on here? We're just, mat we've, we've got match happening to the uh, first character. So the first pair of duplicate characters. So the first double S come in, it solves the problem. What's happening? We're not going global, right? We want to get two of these. So we type in G here. And that gives us two of them. I'm not sure if we need to do case insensitivity. It doesn't mention it here. So let's run the test and find out. Looks like we didn't need to. But yeah, so because we're using the plus, we're seeing how many times that same character is repeated. I know this sounds really esoteric, but like this is actually becomes very useful being able to understand regex, so uh, stick with it. I hope being, being able to console log out the bottom and read what's, what's being printed out is useful for you. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next lesson.